Hello, I'm Fred Miller, and this is a very brief description of one of my 60 to 75 minute lectures in song. Give me some men who are stout-hearted men who will fight for the right they adore. Playing, talking, and singing about some great personality or significant aspect of American popular song. This time, the golden age of operetta, the European classical roots of the American musical theater. Much of American culture originated in Europe, and this most definitely includes the glories of American popular song in its 20th century heyday. Before the Broadway of Gershwin, Porter, Berlin, Kerr, and Rogers and Company, there was the London of Gilbert and Sullivan, the Vienna of Strauss and Lehar. It would be three classically trained Europeans, Irishman Victor Herbert, Czechoslovakian Rudolf Rimmel, and Hungarian Sigmund Romberg, who with the help of Americans Oscar Hammerstein II and Otto Harbach, would place operetta into the American mainstream via Broadway and Hollywood. With Kern and Hammerstein's showboat, European light opera would make the full transition to a distinctly American musical theater. Among the prerequisites for operetta, exotic locales, daring do drama, gorgeously lush melodies, romance, sentiment, and color at fever pitch. The golden age of operetta celebrates this rich, delicious form of entertainment. Strauss's Deflator Mouse, Gilbert and Sullivan's HMS Pinafore, Lehar's The Merry Widow, selections drawn from a half dozen of Herbert's 90-plus operettas, Frimmel's The Firefly, Rosemary, The Vagabond King, Romberg's Maytime, The Student Prince, The Desert Song, The New Moon, up in Central Park. Operetta provides an ultra-positive take on life. Its flavor is always sweet, endings invariably happy. As Kern and Hammerstein advised, only make believe. To engage me for this or any other lecture and song, please visit fredmillermusic.com from where you can contact me and review the entire series of more than 70 different lectures and songs. Thanks for watching and look forward to hearing from you.